Hello. Um, I thought I'd start with a bit of a tribute to Robin Gibb, the PG singer, by playing Words by them, which is quite sad. He passed away this Sunday because of cancer. So yeah, I like this. Yeah, um, I just thought I'd say, Sunday I'm planning to do a song on um, Payphone by Maroon 5, I'm planning to do like a little video to it, all that sort of stuff, and that'll be interesting. I'm still using my iPod because I'm not got a good camera, hopefully I'll this weekend. And my camera has literally just died, it just fell over, so... Hello, here I am outside. It's a beautiful day, isn't it? Uh, decided to go on outside for two reasons. One, because the noise in there was quite bad. I don't know if it was the computer or something, but some people were making a real bad noise. And two, because there's so much more space. Just run around the world. Had a good day yesterday. I uh, did, uh, we did the Columbine exam, which went really well. Except two chairs, which malfunctioned a bit. Well, yeah, I've seen lots of things, they just kind of, kind of died on us. But that was, that was about all that went wrong, the actual show went good, and we got a lot of good response from the audience. So we're almost like I play rather than me, because I'm, and my shortest and I say, which I hate so much. The next to no revision for that, so if I fail that, it's not that I'm not expecting it. I said I would do a revision, I tried, but it just didn't go in. There was nothing interesting. The most in in interesting thing about it, I found on Wikipedia the day before the exam, which is that Robert Peel, the Prime Minister of most of it, died running up a hill, falling off a horse, and the horse fell on top of him. That was all that I found interesting about it. And that's one of the things I hate about that subject. That a lot of the more interesting things you, you don't know about, you've got to find out in your own time. For example, Stalin was a paedophile. Didn't know that until I looked it up. That was quite interesting. Martin Luther King, he, he was a snooker player. He was he was quite a gambler. All this sort of stuff. There's loads of stuff on the internet. So yeah, if you're doing a subject in history, I suggest you yeah, look up there. There's lots of stuff. Uh, today, what I wanted to talk to you about was what well, with it being holidays, uh, technology. So there's a lot of time that I spend around not doing a lot, probably. Probably should be revised my decision exam now, but uh, tomorrow. Also, I should be going to my granddad's as well in about 25 minutes, but decision is another one that I just can't get my head into. So, yeah, I spent a lot of time on the computer doing this, stuff like that, and lately, my parents are getting a bit more. My family's almost OCD, should I say. Well, maybe it's just me. Not my family in general, everyone's like, oh, if it's on standby, turn it off, that kind of thing. But we've got this um, internet thing that means we can only use 10 gigabytes a month. I don't know if anyone's heard of that, I hadn't heard of it until we used it. And let me just say, I'm, I'm probably the most OCD about that. I've got a graph, which is. There is all the values. And then here. That, that's. We have our values as it goes up, so there's some days that we go over, like that, some days that we get it just right, like that. And yeah, that's how I spend a lot of my time on the internet. Down, all the months and how much we've used. And then in green if it's done, red if it's over. And if it's over, it's almost like a, call it like a speeding ticket. You can get to a set amount in your car, but then as soon as you go over that, boom, they catch you. And then you've got to pay a fine, you've got to pay a fine for this as well. It's only about the set next band, but I, I like to compare it a lot to driving almost the internet is. Well, you could call it that, like some of the, the speed tests, they even look like a... That's just like a car, isn't it? Also, we have the whole, if yeah, do something, turn it back on again. But when, you, when you're a kid, you don't really notice it as much. But I've noticed now, I'm thinking about you going to uni and all that, how important it might be walk into a room, turn the lights off, that sort of thing, it's 
It's going to be a massive change, isn't it? Because when you're a kid, you've just got everything on at once. Just like, listen to your music, go on the Xbox, tally everything. All, all free, what for that word. And then when you go to uni or get a house of your own, you're going to be like, oh, I'm getting half your oh, arms like your parents are. Yeah. It's quite a shock to the system, aren't it? Quite scary, really. Enjoy this time while we can. Oh boy. Oh, I hate that feeling. Yeah. Get what I mean.